what you desire, you create more of. Hello and welcome to your guidance for the upcoming week. As always, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel, leave comments, like this video, and consider booking a personal reading with me if you enjoy my work. So let's start with the Gypsy card, giving us a hint as to what the theme of the upcoming week is going to be. And finally, it seems like the pattern of negativity is broken. Um, the last few weeks were kind of uh, overwhelming. But now we have the card of gift. Oyandik. Cadeau. Cario, Geschenk, Dar, Dono. As always, I butcher these pronunciations normally. So if you know how to say these words correctly, please let me know so that I can learn something. So, gift. What is the gift that we will be given? Getting a gift is always an exciting experience because there's an element of surprise. There's also a component of care. We feel like we're being embraced and taken care of. And if you receive a gift that you really need or that really helps you become the person that you want to be, it also represents the experience of someone else knowing us, knowing who we are, which is nice. So what is the gift that is coming? And here's the King of Cups, giving you the gift of compassion, a listening ear that listens deeply, without judgment, without wanting to interrupt you or invalidate your feelings. It's the type of person and the type of energy that we all need in our lives. But uh, it's a really rare gem to encounter. Most people are so tied up in their own emotional turmoil that it is really difficult for them to find it in their hearts to turn to you with uh, undivided attention and empathy. Not the King of Cups. He is a master of his own emotions. He's a, a counselor type, uh, therapeutic presence, which doesn't mean that uh, they are necessarily a professional, uh, but that's also a possibility. At any rate, this card represents the uh, appearance and the encounter with someone who has the capacity to contain some difficult things and uh, perhaps memories or feelings that you want to share. He's there for you and I would say that the most likely scenario is, is that you experience this as coming from the external. And the reason I phrased it this way is because uh, there is one entity here 
there's no external and internal, what is playing out in this stream of consciousness that we call life, at its core, cannot be differentiated in that way. But uh, the illusion of separateness, the illusion of, of external and internal, can make it so that you receive this or you um, perceive this as as a as something coming from the outside the bottom line however is that you have this aspect of yourself ready to help you at any any moment you have a wise counsel, uh, an ancient, primal, but sophisticated segment of your self, which is ready to listen and reflect with you at all times. It may appear that you don't have access to this part sometimes, but it's there. And the gift that you receive now is going to prove to you that one, this energy, this presence, it exists. And two, if you're lucky, you may even understand that this is something that you carry within yourself. And you can always get in touch with it and find solace and peace in your communication with him. Good luck to all of you. Have a nice week. Thank you for watching. See you next time.